Mackenzie. We're going to do this so the Ducatis are now Here in line at Stern. Mackenzie looks underneath Jason O'Halloran. He wants those five points. And he's going to take he the champion. Oh! And history repeats itself. Only yeah. this time, both of them becomes Yamaha's go down and out. Oh. And suddenly it's wide open. Whoa. On the As they went into the final lap then, it's a, a, a collision it. between McCam's Yamaha's. Glenn Irwin leads it. A second place, Christian Hidden. Third place they for to, Tommy Bridewell. They need to get their flags out because Jason was in a, a real precarious position. Mackenzie off to the inside where he ended up. He's a little bit safer there. He's getting his breath back, but you now the, the, the pack's through. Yeah, it had to and be a red flag. flag. It had to be Jack. I, I was fairly certain that was going to be a red flag. Oh, would you believe that? I can't believe that. So Glenn Irwin takes an unexpected victory for Honda on the Fireblade. Christian Eden, an unexpected second place. Tommy Bridewell inherits third place. And Brooks, let's have a look. Right, Mac Mackenzie up the inside. That's on the left hander. Oh. You, you just can't write the script with Oh, and I'll Ooh, tell you what. That was they, they, so did, they did a really, really good job. And this is one of the reasons why it's really important. Watch this. Mackenzie up the inside. Squirts is a little bit tighter than it would be normally. Hound around the outside, open to that'll put him up the inside into the last corner, loses the rear. Oh, that's just a ah, nowhere to go for Jason. That's just unbelievably unfortunate. I hope Jason's all right. I think Chad and McKenzie is. And look at this, this is the worst possible position you can be right in the middle of the track. Bikes coming past at 80 miles an hour, unsighted. Oh, desperately looking for the pair of them. Honestly, Jack. Whoa, oh, Glenn Irwin just poked his way through on the inside. Despair there on the pit lane. Oh. Barry Stanley there, George Stanley's dad.